That's the real message. The real message is we all started from no. I mean, we all had bullshit jobs. We all <laughs> felt like losers. But through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body. You build a stronger mind. You build accomplishments and will and momentum. And then you look back and you go, hey, man, I'm not washing tables anymore. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not washing dishes. I'm not cutting lawns. I'm not digging ditches. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a different person now, but I used to be. Yeah, the difference between a dream and a goal is a timeline and accountability. Yeah, you accountability know. is gigantic. You got to have somebody, whether it's yourself or a friend or somebody that's going to say, look, did you do what you said you were going to do by this time? And if you don't, hold your feet to the fire. We have been fed this line of horseshit that you're supposed to seek comfort. And I don't think you are. I think you're supposed to seek lessons and you're supposed to seek difficult tasks and, 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 and accomplishments. And through those things and through doing things that are hard to do, even if it's just a fucking 90 minute hot yoga class. I do a 90 minute yoga class, man. I, those last 20 minutes, I do not want to be there, man. And I definitely don't want to give 100 percent. And I can cheat. I can I can kind of half ass it. I can I can. But if I don't and I get through it. When that time is up and the lady says namaste and everybody gets up, I'm like, fuck, man, I made it. You know, I lost 15 pounds. My fucking yoga mat is drenched to the point where I could literally wring it out and fill a, a, a jug up with water. But through that struggle, I will now have a better day. And I better fucking do it again tomorrow or do something else. Because if I just think, well, tomorrow I'm just going to coast and eat Twinkies and watch TV. Oh, hello, sadness, my old friend. Hello, depression. Because when you're not doing anything, you feel like shit. And that's just a part of being a human being. I mean, just sitting around dreaming, someday, you know, mm. someday I'm going to get a different job. Someday I'm going to change this. Well, someday ain't a day of the week. You know, there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look on your calendar. Someday's not on there. So you, you got to say, okay, I want to take this small step by here, this small step by there, this small step by there, and then pretty soon, you know, we don't leap tall buildings in a single bound. We take it a floor at a time. That's why failure is so important. Like, failing and fucking up and making mistakes, it's very important. You know, that's how you learn. It's how you, the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better, like, especially failing in something where you half-assed it and you just feel like a fucking loser. Like, that just teaches you it teaches you to get your shit together pick up your damn suffering and bear it and try to be a good person so you don't make it worse i read a lot about the terrible things that people have done to each other you just can't even imagine it it's so awful so you don't want to be someone like that you know do you have a reason to be yes you have a lots of reasons to be. God, there's reasons to be resentful about your existence. Everyone you know is going to die. You know, you too. There's going to be a fair bit of pain along the way, and lots of it's going to be unfair. It's like, yeah, no wonder you're resentful. It's like, act it out and see what happens. You make everything you're complaining about infinitely worse. Yeah, it's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had. And if that's the case, like some people are stuck in high school. You know, they're, they're stuck in failures that they had like when they were first getting jobs and they always think that they're a loser and they, they don't like the feeling of failure so they keep low expectations so that they never have to feel that. That's the hardest part, right? Is to get out of that rut. Oh. When you ain't got shit and there's nothing going on, to have faith then is so difficult. To have faith when you're successful, it's like, yeah, yeah. listen, bitch, you've been successful for a while. Of course you got faith. <laughs> yep, Just yeah. keep doing what you're That's doing. Easy. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah, it's like, absolutely right. It's That's like you already got up the hill. Now you're just coasting. Yeah. You know, you're just rolling down the hill. Everything's great. That's the easy It's all part. smooth sailing. Yep. The hard part is getting up that fucking hill. You know, especially if you got a dad you're hiding from. Especially if... You feel like you're a loser. Or you never really had anything in your life that you could look back on and say, hey, I was really good at that. You know, and there's yeah. a lot of people out there listening to this. There's so many people that are in that, that starting point. Like the people that come up to you and say, what do I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? How do I do it? Yeah. How do I get going? You're going to have to figure it out. One foot in front of the other. Exactly. You're going to have to yeah. you have to find a thing and keep working at it and get better at it. You got to get through it. You got to get through bad feelings you got to get through um you got to get through failure it's very important and you get through it 
by just picking yourself back up and moving forward and going. But it's hard for a lot of people because they that sting, they never get over it, the, the feeling of failure. And they don't have a good support system, like good friends, like having a good community of friends. That's what life is like, it's suffering. That's what the religious people have always said. Life is suffering, yes. But who wants to admit that? Well, just think about it. So, so what do you do in the face of that suffering? Try to reduce it. That you're gonna have to fucking suffer, man. This fucking point two five, man. This is, man. You're gonna have to fucking suffer to 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 go from this fat, insecure motherfucker to one of the best guys on the planet Earth. This journey is gonna take something that is gonna be incomprehensible to most people. Start with yourself. What good are you? Get yourself together for Christ's sake, so that when your father dies, you're not whining away. Corner and you can help plan the funeral and you can stand up solidly so that people can rely on you. That's better. Don't be a damn victim. Of course you're a victim. Jesus, obviously. Put yourself together. It's just those feelings of failure are so hard. They're so hard to get over and they, they overwhelm people and some people can't get past them. And then every time some new thing comes up when you have to rise to the occasion you have to perform you think about that time you failed and it fucks your head up man you think i'm a fucking loser i can't do this i'm gonna fail i'm gonna fuck up you know like yeah. bombing like how many times have you had a bad set and you're like god damn it i suck at comedy i can't do this i can't do this i yeah. suck at comedy that's just it i just suck and then you define yourself that way and you, you got to get over it well you know what's wrong with you if you admit it you know there's a few things you could like polish up a little bit that you might even be able to manage into insufficient present condition. And so you might shine yourself up a little bit and then your eyes would be a little more open and you could shine yourself up a little bit more and then maybe you could bring your family together. Bullshit. You're a fucking human. You're a human being. You're, you evolved from the fucking hundreds of thousands of years of hunters and gatherers and people that were struggling. Those re human reward systems are carved deeply into your DNA. And if you don't respect that, if you don't respect the mechanism of happiness and fulfillment and what you really need to do in order to feel satisfied in life, camaraderie, love, family, friendship, struggle, testing yourself, learning, all those things are imperative. They're all a giant part of being a person. Nietzsche said, I know of no better life purpose than to perish in attempting the great and impossible. The fact that something seems impossible shouldn't be a reason to not pursue it. That's exactly what makes it worth pursuing. Where would the courage and greatness be if success was certain and there was no risk? The only true failure is shrinking away from life's challenges. Nailed that one also. Two for two. Nailed that one also, man.